At the time I'm recording this, it is almost 2022, and for some reason, Squarespace still does not have the TikTok icon built into their platform. I feel like they're kind of behind on that because TikTok is obviously a mainstream social media platform now, but until they add it, we have to add it manually ourselves using a little bit of code. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that and how to change out other social icons to your own custom branded icons if you wish to do so. Hello, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kinsey. I'm the brand and web designer behind Kinsey Green Design. If you're not new, as always, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in the computer and get started with this simple tutorial. That little URL icon in the lower right is where my TikTok link is. And to change this out, we're going to go to design and then we're going to hit custom CSS. Now, in order to change this little URL icon, we first have to hide it with the code that I'm about to paste, which is also linked below in the description. And once that URL icon is hidden, we can use this code, which is also below to actually replace the icon. So. All you're going to do is upload your custom icon in this manage custom files panel if you haven't already as you can see there's mine and you're going to click it to actually get that url directly to the image pasted into the code and you want it to go right there where it says url all you have to do is save and the TikTok icon is there. There is a separate line of code that needs to be used if you're changing out this icon in the header. And I'll also link that below as well. Now let's say you wanna change out the Instagram icon. We're going to use this code here and that little number right there signifies which icon it's going to change out based on the order it's showing up on the website. So if I put number three, it would change out the Facebook icon. If I put number one, it's going to change out the Instagram icon. And this is pretty much the same process. You're just going to paste the link to your actual icon file that you've uploaded right there where the URL belongs and the icon will show up. That's a pretty crappy image. I'm not actually going to save this. I just got it up here for this example. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.